Hey guys, um, I'm in a really creative mood today, so I decided to make several videos. Um, this one is going to be, I guess, about the basics of what personal power is, how to use your personal power, and what exactly personal power means. Okay, so let me expand on that. Personal power is everything that, it is the basics of magic. It is grounding and centering, shielding, understanding your intention, understanding your higher will. It is all of those things. All of those things. It is connecting to things that are higher than you. And it is the bridge to your spiritual power. And through your spiritual power and your personal power, that is like a catalyst of magic power. When you fully have developed your personal power, then fully connected to your spiritual power, like I said in my previous video, magic happens. You don't have to think, oh, I'm going to do a spell. You could be anywhere. You could be doing anything. All you have to do is know, believe, and let yourself have it. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is something I consider to be the most important, and that is grounding and centering. And if you look right now, I am very countryfied, and I am not wearing any shoes. And it's something that I do sometimes because, it, I, I, in my opinion, it's the easiest way to connect to the element of earth. And as you ground and center, that is what you're, you're doing. Now, grounding and centering, what does that mean? Now, this isn't an exact dictionary definition, but basically, grounding and centering is pulling energy from the earth and pushing energy back into the earth. Now, you use grounding and centering. I personally use it before I do a ritual or before I do a spell and after I do a ritual or after I do a spell or any time I feel like I just have a lot of energy that I'm not using. I like to neutralize that energy and give it back to the earth so that it can manifest in different ways. Now, oh gosh, it's such an amazing day. <sighs> Anyways, sorry, I was volunteering at um, a carnival earlier today for little children, and so I don't know what about it, but I guess their, their mentality kind of got me in a very creative mood. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today, is making YouTube videos. Um, now, I say the easiest way to ground and center is to physically get down on your hands and knees, okay? Now, this is actually a yoga pose, and it's called child pose. And what you do, okay, is, oh, I hope that's good. Okay, like... If I was doing a spell and I wanted to ground in the center, I would take a deep breath in, go down, put your forehead on the earth, and as your forehead touches the earth, imagine all of the energy that is inside of you um, like a vortex, and it's all going to your third eye chakra. Now, your third eye chakra is building, it's opening, it's swirling with all of the energy that you've accumulated there. Now, as you exhale, use your third eye chakra as an apparatus and push that energy back into the earth. And I just think that's a really good way to get rid of negativity and negative energy and to use um, the energy of the earth in a positive, healthy way. So if I was doing grounding, what I would do is I would focus on the earth, feel the earth, connect to the earth. As I inhale, pull the energy, that golden, radiant, almost molten energy from the earth into my body, from starting with my feet. And you pull it up, and you see it kind of pushing all of any negative vibrations, any negative buildup to your third eye chakra. And as all that negativity exits your body, the golden energy of the earth fully, it radiates from you. It radiates within you. It is you. You take that energy and then you push it back into the earth. So it's like a continuous cycle of energy streaming from the earth into your body and back into the earth. And that is what I call grounding. 
Now, when you ground, it is an excellent way to get rid, like I said, of negative energy. It is an excellent way to fill yourself with the energy of the earth. Whew, I got up kind of fast, kind of dizzy. It's an excellent way to fill yourself with the energy of the earth. And it's an excellent way to prepare yourself before you do any magical anything. Ritual, spell, sabbat celebration. I personally, me and my coven, my coven being my best friend Aaron, do it every time we do anything. So it's an excellent way. And there are many variations of grounding and centering. Another way would be a taproot, which you sit in a sitting position. You imagine that your feet are roots and that your roots are going into the earth and they, like a tree, are absorbing all of the nutrients, all of the energy from the earth. And imagine, some people imagine their arms, when I do it I imagine my crown chakra opening up and a giant tree just sprouting from it. So the core of my body is the trunk of the tree. My feet are the roots and my crown chakra are the limbs. They are everything that is outstretching, outreaching to the sun. Now, um, once you imagine your roots, use that energy and project the rest of yourself up. So your roots are absorbing the energy of the earth and your branches are reaching and they're absorbing all of the energy from the sun. And that is another way to get into it. Now, that is centering to me. You're centering yourself in yourself. You're ridding yourself of all of the negative vibrations, all of that excess energy, everything that's been built up through the day, and you're cleansing it, you're clearing it, you're expelling it from your body so that you are able to function at a higher level of thinking, a higher level of processing. You're connecting to your higher will. You're connecting to your inner intentions. It is all of those things. It is eliminating the distractions that make up your mind and preparing yourself for a spell, for a ritual, or for any spiritual work that you may be doing. Another way, which I think is really cool, and this comes from um, Thea Sabin's Wicca for Beginners. Like I said, it's an excellent book. I'll actually probably reference it quite a lot. Um, you can do a few inhales and exhales. As you inhale, imagine all of that energy, all of your personal energy, flowing into your fingertips, into your palms, into your hands, and touch like a tree, and I'm just near a tree, so I'm going to use that as an example. So you touch that tree and see the energy transmuting from your hand into the tree, and then use the tree as an apparatus to send that energy back into the earth. So it, the energy in your hand goes from your body, your hand, to the tree, and into the earth. And the earth will neutralize that energy so that it can be used and manifested in a positive way later. And those are just a few ideas on how to ground and center. If you have any ideas or any questions, any comments, you know, post them on my YouTube, subscribe, whatever. Send me a message, um, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks, guys.